Welcome to your Economy Watch, the annual Sandhills Stock and Rodeo Show, breaking ticket sale records this year as families come from across the state to see the show. Local 2's Jessica Vallejo joins us live in the studio to tell us how the show is bringing a boom to our business. Jessica? That's right, with people riding into the rodeo from all across the state of Texas, local businesses and hotels of Odessa packed. A show employee tells us the profit isn't only seen in their sales, but throughout the community. It'll be a great year. We're looking at a record sale. We've had great numbers attend. The Sand Hill Stock and Rodeo Show rides on for its 84th year, bringing in more cowboys and cowgirls from across Texas than ever before. We have families come from across the state and wait for this event every year. And the increased numbers at the show not just seen in attendance, but dollar signs for the basin. La Quinta is one of several hotels packed with participants. It's been uh, sold out uh, a couple days last week and uh, a couple more days this week, and it's uh, slowly but surely picking back up and getting pretty hectic again. Nayugua says families reserving rooms months in advance, making them look forward to rodeo coming into town year after year. Bringing more traffic into the area is always a good thing. It's going to be good for, you know, not only hotels, but, you know, local restaurants, bars. George's employee Raymond Ramirez agrees that the traffic is great for the economy, despite the hard work it brings. We're super packed today. We, um, we're running around with our heads cut off, just trying to keep up with all the business that's bringing, that is bringing into us. Because this show must go on. Open up their hearts and open up their checkbooks and really take care of these kids and remind them how proud of that we are of them. Now, if you are coming in from out of town, there are plenty of hotels with availability. You can find them on our website, that's yourbasin.com. Live in the studio, Jessica Vallejo, Local 2 News.